This was the second time we organized the European Health and Fitness Forum in cooperation with FIBO. In the first year we had uh, an enormous success, but this was even bigger. We had uh, not only more people, we had 100 more people, we totally had 320 people. But it's not about quantity, it's also about quality. You had very good people from the operator side as well as from the supplier side. And this event is growing to become the major event for the industry in Europe on an annual basis. We've got a great day of uh, activities today. We've got some great speakers and it's wonderful to be here with so many people up, I believe, 50% on the numbers from last year. I think this forum is very important because it shows the industry, even with its many diverse interests and even with the competition within it, coming together to discuss issues which are important to society and to the industry itself. So what I'm going to tell you about um, over the next sort of 20 minutes is to share with you some of the uh, ideas that we've got at Nuffield Health. How are you? Wow! It's perfect. <laughs> many thanks to the operators, to the industry experts and also to my guys here who have worked on this report uh, for more than four months. Most people know exercise is healthy, it's good for them. So we don't have to convince people anymore, uh, but we, we do have to get them to actually behave in line with what they think. If you want to change behavior, change behavior. But it doesn't go through attitudes. At this point we've got a, a massive uh, inactivity epidemic in some ways, but we also have lots more understanding of the tools and the approaches in order to shift that behavior. So I'm quite optimistic in many ways. Uh, let's start to basically uh, understand a bit of our members and also non-members. There is definitely a gap between the level of awareness regarding health and fitness challenge versus the individual action. I didn't set out to become a doctor or study psychology, but I was always fascinated by how you could keep people exercising. The future is great. It means there's going to be change, which is going to be painful for some. But that change is necessary to pave the way for a tremendous market opportunity. The only way is to evolve from a cure approach to a prevention approach is by focusing on wellness, lifestyle, education and promotion. Here's the opportunity, and this, and this really is the recognition at a European level that the fitness sector doesn't just do the blah, 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 but it does the doing as well. This kind of scientific study is giving the industry a powerful basis of evidence for submission to government policy makers. An organization which offers to get more people, more active, more often, must have an important role. And that is why Europe Active has been chosen by the European Commission as a partner for this year's European Week of Sport. And it is why providing a common platform for the industry, however diverse our interests, a platform based on scientific evidence and the search for higher standards has to be the key to success. Health and fitness are areas in which Europe can and does lead. We are already among the world's standard setters and the world's standard leaders. I look forward to working with you and with government to keep it that way. Thanks to the support from FIBO, Europe Active was able to have a stand, a lounge, where our partners, the national associations, could bring their customers and their members. It's been a fantastic new thing to offer to our members. And next year, we will even expand on this and make sure that more and more people know about this so it becomes the focal point for meeting. In the eight years that Europe Active has been established, we've made enormous strides. You know, we have gathered a lot of support from both the operator side as well as the supplier side already have become the partner for the European Commission, for the politicians, and the regulators to talk to when it relates to health and fitness. If we keep doing what we're doing, we will get these 80 million people, and possibly more than that, by 2025. It's eight years have gone. Um, I have no idea where they went. Um, it went terribly quickly. 
Um, and I think this will go from strength to strength.